for the record it's hot out here we're already getting in the 80s i will try to upload this i need to quit i need to look at the camera i'm on my phone i've got all this fancy camera equipment i don't want to use it the only thing i've added in here is my mini fridge i'm getting ready to rent a scissor lift to put all the lights up i'm just making like a little you know blah 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 right now i've got this in the building believe it or not which is easy to believe with my oldness i was like my 2021 is cutting better than my 2023 yes i washed them this weekend and then i had to mow instantly my dog lot because the we got a guy this is a good business opportunity if in your area we pay a guy to come here every week and he picks up the poop out of the fence and he's got the best name ever you can google him if you live in the area and you just want a poop guy call of duty just like the video game but instead of d-u-t-y it's d-o-o-d-y duty and he comes here every week picks up the poo so when he picked up the poo monday after i got back home like seven worked about i don't know i was like i only hit 11 hours that day monday so i had to mow and i had this one off the trailer and i had that one on the trailer i said frig it i'll do the washed one anyway what i was doing i'm adjusting it i want it to go faster it's the slowest one i've ever had the the linkage with the handles does not speed this thing up on contrary to what everybody says you have to adjust it on the hydros and i'm trying to learn how to do that but anyway if y'all know how to do it on the hydro because i messed with this I don't know how many times messed with both of them it's easy skag has everything so easy best mower on the planet in my opinion i have not had them all just the best i've used how about that and of course it's the best cut on the planet i made a skag dirty little secrets video so i think i'm gonna call that this the years ago gosh everybody gets so mad and i'm like won't you make your own videos cuz look at this beautiful thing now granted if i know the xl was coming out i wouldn't have bought this 2023 then i was thinking here's the only problem i see with the 2023 is this is black everything now what if i didn't tighten that oil filter on and it leaks are you going to see the oil that's leaking out of the oil filter are you going to see any hydro flu out on the other hand here's the pro to that he won't stain like this and it'll stain but i would rather it stain a little bit than not know what's going on and tear up my engine or my pumps so hey i'm happy with these i'm not i'm you know there's the other one i'm just waiting to wear these tires out so i can oh let me introduce a new product on my awesome skag Y'all know what a green guard is. Check out what Jeremiah made. Look at that. You see, it's what's magnet. It's magnets. Do you see what that's doing? Like if you're mowing and you don't want it complete closed and you want to just open a little bit, well, that creates a gap. That this thing, this is this 38 and a half horsepower, so much power, it blows grass. So when you open it this that much, you'll get grass shoot out from above it. Because, you know, this this mower was not designed for a shoot blocker. It's designed to cut grass. Yeah, so now I don't have that problem. I mean, it worked flawlessly. I'm going to put the uh, rubber shoot on this. I done bought it. But this thing is called a dust blocker or something. Right here's the instructions. there's the new rubber shoot i bought i'm going to all the rubber shoots because i want to i like the rubber shoot that much i bought all that stuff i bought that stuff ask jeremiah i got receipts like so much that i i want to he's a small business everybody's like you use small businesses and then they'll go out and buy stuff that's not i ain't gonna name old products but i see it all the time so American company. Him. But anyway, back to Skag.
This gag still awesome. The 2021 is awesome. No breakdowns, no problems. I have never took neither one of them to the shop. That one's got 500 hours. It's a 2021. It would have a lot more hours if it didn't cut so fast. And if I didn't, I used to alternate it between the 52. Do y'all remember my 52? I'll let somebody borrow it. So I used it and that walk behind all the time. And then that one I used, but now I've got to where I bought two of them. Probably get another one in it next year, maybe. I don't know. I don't need one, but after my surgery, the doctor tells me it's going to be a year for my, you know, and my neck. I don't want to show my neck. It's bad back there. It looks pretty good, but it's a big, long, nasty scar. Anyway, I'm still healing. Still supposed to be wearing a collar when I'm bumping on Bumpy Rosa. Anyway, I'm scagged for as long as until somebody can come up with something better than this right here, this, this cutter. Now, the thing I'm thinking about buying is a 72 XL V-Ride. I don't want to sit down. Sit downs kill my back. They less production. I noticed I bought a V-Ride 2 in 2019 and hardly anybody had them around here, like nobody. And then they see me going 100 miles an hour, mowing and twisting right between mulch, I mean, not mulch beds, bushes, and it's so agile and it's so much more production than a sit down. Jumping off, grabbing trash. You need to come pick up trash in my freaking bag. <laughs> anyway, this thing is amazing. Both of them are. Amazing. The thing I made about uh, Skag's Dirty Little Secret is they put all the part numbers on these mowers for standard belts and everything. Yes, they give you a book, but it's neat how they do that. I like how Skag does that. But the 38 and a half FX1000, no problems. I mean, this one's got a hundred something and this one's got 500 something, I think. And because like I said, I sold that or not, I let somebody borrow it. So here's 500 hours looking all good. I want to put these tires on the Skag because these tires are superior. Oh, look at this beauty. I'm telling you, I, I, they've got me. They've got my business. They've got my business. They've got my business. They earn my business. I, dudes, I bought that new on my channel years ago when I was at Mother House. I've moved three freaking times since I started move, making this channel. Do y'all really? <laughs> three times I've moved. Anyway, I bought that 52 new in 2018. I went from using it at the Toro if you remember the z master to i bought a 48 and then i bought this 52 swiss it me and roy you, you know roy passed away i hate every time i say that i hate it I, that's my buddy he is missed trust me had a hole in his heart it was not nothing bad related so poor little feller had a hole in his heart smoked cigarettes and drank energy drinks and he didn't know he had a hole in his heart poor little feller he wasn't little or not. I just, he's my buddy. I, I miss him. But anyway, so he graduated to the 52, and then I bought a 52 uh, V Ride 2. Man, we was getting, fi oh my gosh, the productivity. Whew. And then I was like, well, let me buy the 1000cc 61, and here it is 2021. Roy did get to see it, he never wrote it. And then I've went all that color for my trimmers. I mean, that's all I'm, that's all. I got electric, battery, uh, leaf blower, everything's battery now. I'm going to though. But anyway, hoots. So, as you can see, I don't know how you guys wear a big knee hole in them pads. I mean, the, the cotton behind the pads is almost not there. And my knees hit the thing, it sucks, but... Y'all got some sharp knees to actually make some dents in it. I mean, you can see I've stood on this thing a long time, 500 and some hours. And remember, that's using other mowers too. So, and that's also with a 61 with 38 and a half. I've never got an acre done in 15 minutes. So that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hours for something that only takes minutes to mow an acre. You know what I'm saying? And I got the Chevy back. 
I had to pay them to rebuild the transmission. It's a five speed. Me and Dirty Filter Dave was driving it. He was helping me where I'm injured from the surgery and fit, it just popped out of fifth gear. But anyway, I don't want to talk about Chevy just yet, but he's back. I've had him two weeks now. Oh, I'm so happy, but the Skags are still standing up, still doing good, still cutting that grass, man. I mean, I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't be happier with them. I will show you one thing. If you followed my channel, look here. Almost done, almost. Look at all this room. Look at all this room. That's just a box I threw down. There's almost nothing right here now. It's just a couple of boxes and I gotta put these together. And that's the Mark II or Mark III, I don't know. I th that looks like the Mark II 580 BTS. So I'm down to nothing. That thing's cool right there. I made a video, I just gotta upload it. My blade sharpening station. I use my pressure washer to clean my stuff, but yeah. If you notice, it's a lot cleaner in here. The floor ain't because I've been working so much and I'm not cleaning this floor every day. I'm not doing it. Y'all can judge me if you want. But anyway, Skag, highly recommend them. It's a good company. 2023, sitting right here. I didn't want to use him. You know, I let him sit for I don't know how many months just sitting here. He was my backup. So this year I was like, you know, I'm going to use him a day or two a week and I done got him over 100 hours and that's Again, takes 15 minutes to mow an acre or less. So that's a lot of hours and a lot of lawns to get up at 100 hours already this fast. Mm. I like having a refrigerator down here. Cold beverages on demand. And I still got exterminator stickers and I pay to ship them to you. They are no charge. Me and you know, that company on that toolbox, they printed them out to give away. So I got stickers. I've sent out a lot of them. I didn't think many of y'all guys would want them, but my gosh, people love some stickers. And you know who, me. So send me some stickers. If you want my P.O. box, I'll tell you what it is if you got a cool sticker. I'm trying to find a place to actually start putting them up. I made a sticker challenge back 10 years ago on my channel. So. I've been doing all everything before anybody has. I'm the re OG now. Me and Seth, the lawn surgeon, nobody outdates us. None of them. I don't care what you say. Go look, go look at the receipts. And I like, I like Seth. The lawn, I met him at GIA. So me and him's the OGs. Everybody else has left the industry. Sadly, I wished Southern. Uh, I mean, Savage wasn't a left Southern. Savage no more. That's my boy. My buddy. One of my best friends that I met on the YouTubes. And we talk. We was talking every day, but here lately I've been so busy I don't mean to. He sent me a message right now I need to listen to. I've made so many friends on YouTube. That's how I met Dirty Filter Dave was on YouTube. Coincidentally enough, he lived near me. I mean, it's crazy. I've met so many people. And I had somebody scream out the other day, exterminator, when he drove by. Stop and talk to me. I ain't, I ain't a snob or nothing. But anyway, I've been on this YouTube for like 13 freaking years. Y'all see me before surgery and how hard I worked. Look at that sign. I bought that middle sign. It was just like 25 bucks. Dirty foot, I'm gonna hang it up as I leave right there. And I start hanging up all my lights. I've gotta make a review from a light company. I got Badgers to review. I've got, well, I've showed him. I forget how much stuff I've got. He's an electric dethatcher back there. Super Clean sent me something years ago and they keep asking me, where's the video? And I'm like, sorry. So I need to get on. I'm just so tired at the end of the day and this whole this whole winter was ruined from pain and me messing my neck up so and this winter I might have to have back surgery so me at least I got AJ and dirty filter to help I mean I could hire somebody else I know that but these people has re they're lo uh, not loyal well I guess they're a little loyal but trustworthy and they'll show up 
Dirty Filter always shows up when he says, AJ always is there waiting on me to work. Always. And I pick him up. He parks at the thing and I pick him up. You, you just can't find people that good that's that liable now since I lost Roy. So I'm not really looking because I'm not supposed to be working extra. Until next year, I'm going to go wide open. I plan on adding another whole crew. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. I turn down more work than I have. That's what sucks. Living in a big city, which we ain't a big city. Shoot. Johnson City, Tennessee is not a big city, but it's a, the metro area is huge. There's a lot of land and a lot of houses. Is what I mean. And we don't have skyscrapers, but we got, they're building every day here. The sub, we're one of the most moved to cities in the country. So there's a boom here and there's 10 million Californian Yankees coming down and don't even know how to mow. So good for me. A lot of my new customers are Yanks and Californians and I don't care their money spends just like anybody. As long as they're nice and polite, us Southerners will accept anybody. Just be nice and respectful. That's it. God, I hate that scar. But anyway, scared. I'm going to the NHRA a couple weeks, June 8th at Bristol. I hope Skag, I don't know, but Skag better not pull their sponsorship from Wilkerson or Schumacher. But they also have a bunch of equipment there. I've got a video and I never uploaded it. Ooh, 16 minutes. Yeah, peace and chicken.